Welcome back everyone. What we saw take place on Monday night in the Jets-Bills game was very similar to what occurred on Sunday in the Ravens-Texans games. Both Aaron Rodgers and J.K. Dobbins suffered torn Achilles tendons in their respective games. My name is Dr. Stefan Wilson and if you enjoy learning about the mechanism of injuries in sports and the relevant anatomy then please like and subscribe to my page to receive notification of future videos. On the replay, we see Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers pivot to his right to avoid a tackle by Leonard Floyd. Floyd does grab a hold of Rodgers around his waist and then uses his body weight as leverage in order to force Rodgers to the ground. The tackle was completely clean and within the rules, but unfortunately Rodgers' left foot was caught in an awkward position with the dynamic weight of Floyd bringing him to the ground. The normal anatomy of an Achilles tendon is able to withstand a significant amount of pressure and tension. It serves as the connective tissue that attaches the back of your calf muscles onto the back of your heel bone called your calcaneus. And then your ankle joint is called a hinged synovial joint. Hinged meaning it mostly moves back and forth in one direction. With your toes up, it is in dorsiflexion and with your toes pointed down, your foot is in plantar flexion. Here we can see how Rogers' left foot is pushed into dorsiflexion as there is no other option to transfer the force and load of Floyd's body weight coming down on Rogers. With his toes seemingly stuck into the turf, there is a tremendous amount of pressure being applied to his left calf muscles and more distally his Achilles tendon. So much so that the fibers are disrupted and quickly tore. Aaron Rodgers' injury of a complete Achilles tear was confirmed on Tuesday with an MRI. Thank you for watching. Good night.